these are my foodie favourites, so all the things I've been loving and liking over the last few months. These McBitties Thins Dark Chocolate Digestives are amazing. I actually had to buy a new box to show you these because I opened the other one. And once you open them, you have to eat them all. They're just like regular digestives, but they're really thin. So the ratio of chocolate to biscuit is much better because there's less biscuit and more chocolate. This was something that I came across on Instagram and it's the hashtag no plastic July. And it's just about reducing the amount of plastic that you throw out. It doesn't have to be just for July, but the idea of doing it for um, a month long period is just so you really focus in on what you are throwing out. And it's about not, definitely not sending it to landfill, but also not sending it to recycling because there's a lot of energy that is put into the plastics to break them down and make them into something else. There are so many amazing fresh things going on in the garden at the moment. I am probably liking my runner beans the most. I am growing Scarlet Emperor. They're just so tasty straight from the bush. And they're something I always remember as a child, um, my mum giving me from her garden and they just remind me of watering in the summer. And blackberries as well. There's loads of blackberries down by the river. And I like the idea that people stop and just pick blackberries so they're not necessarily gardening themselves but there are so many down there there's plenty for feeding the birds and the wildlife down there too but when you walk down you see people with little bags and they're taking a bag home and there's enough for people to do that it's so abundant at the moment and that's something I'm also really enjoying my dehydrator has been great recently because I've been dehydrating bits and pieces mainly courgettes because they don't freeze so well um, so I've been dehydrating things from the garden that I can keep for later in the year and over the winter. I got the dehydrator a while ago, it was back at Christmas, but I haven't used it that much, but it's coming into its own at the moment. I'd quite like to do a whole video on it. It's the um, Escalibur dehydrator, it's got five trays and it's a really good one. I would really like to get a bench for the garden, but benches are really expensive and it would have to stay out all winter because I've got nowhere that I could store it and I don't know how secure it would be outside my flat so I don't want to spend a fortune on it so something I'm kind of thinking about getting is a bench I'm hoping there's going to be some sales coming up and I can get one cheaper towards the end of the season and um, because they're quite expensive I have two recommendations for you this month. One, I don't know how I didn't find them earlier, is Garden Answer. And the lady who does that channel is called Laura, which is a good name. Um, I actually first started watching her only back in April when she did her April garden tour. She's got a massive, gorgeous garden and she does really nice tours of it. She does a lot of videos about individual plants and she works with um, a lot of gardening companies, her family also own a gardening centre, so it's just really nice, slick, put together video, so that's quite a good one to watch. And the other channel that I've been meaning to mention for a while is My Green Closet. It's about fashion sustainability and um, eco-wear, that kind of thing. Now I'm not really a big clothes shopper anyway, but I just like the, the laid-back style of the videos and um, she does a video every month which is my green five and she mentions five things and there's usually a documentary included um, that you can watch and it's just about being a bit more aware of your footprint that you're leaving on the earth so although I'm not a massive fashion follower it, it's been a really interesting channel Primark haul videos kind of make my stomach churn because most of that is stuff that you those people don't need fast fashion and all of that clothing that is so cheap. Someone is paying a price for it somewhere along the line. So that, that's something that I found um, really interesting. And she has a lot of tips of things about just being, even how small changes and being a little bit more environmentally aware can make a massive difference. I don't think I've had any major dislikes recently which is a good thing. Uh, I mentioned in a previous video we went on holiday and Air Canada lost our baggage, which was really annoying. What annoyed me the most was the difficulty in getting through to their customer service line 
And I think that's just a thing that everybody dislikes of being on hold and getting hold music. That whole call centre, call handling system is is awful. These things happen, luggage gets lost. It wasn't the end of the world, but yeah, call systems drive me crazy. I don't feel like I've made YouTube much of a priority recently. I feel like I've missed quite a few uploads. If, the, if it's raining, then I don't bother doing the garden. I dislike just doing a grocery haul every week and I really want to get back into filming more regular content. So I thought I would give Vader a go, which is a video every day in August. Um, and see, see what I can come up with. So uh, you can watch out for that starting with a grocery haul on Monday. Um, and I'll, I'll see how I get on. I would, I would like to share something every day, not necessarily a vlog, but um, a video of something foodie garden related, that kind of thing. And that's everything for this month. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye.